Hi everybody, Jamie A, Blind Builder 1974, and I'm in. A few days ago I had maybe an hour and a half, two hours, just a little juncture of time when I could do some building, which has been very rare lately because of how busy things have been. And I kind of had an idea, and I was going to see how well I could put it together. So obviously right now you don't see it because I'm going to kind of wait and show it to you and let you kind of hopefully get the full effect of it. It's small build and it wasn't that hard to do, but it's something, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, anyway, I'll give you a little background on what I did. Um, I do band looming, and I don't do it as often now as I do Lego, but I still kind of like it, and I still have friends that send me the looming patterns, um, which you can also do with fusible beads, and I've kind of experimented now and found out that you can do some of the more simple ones with Lego, too, either with tiles or um, by using the blocks of the bricks and stacking them up and kind of doing it that way. So I'll show you what I did now. So one of my friends sent me a pattern, and it was this white heart that looks like it has kind of paint dripping down it. And there again, it was supposed to be for either band looming or fuse beads, you know, some other craft of that nature. But I thought, you know what, I can do that with Lego. And I decided I would try it. I could have done it with 1x2s. It would have been a lot smaller. But I decided, let me try it with 2x2s and let's see what happens. Um, so actually, there's some 2x4s and 2x3s in here too. But the actual part of the heart, and you can kind of tell if I zoom in on it, and I'm pretty sure this would qualify as an illegal technique because I used... The black, you know, I used some 2x6s, I used some 2x4s, I used some 2x3s, but this middle part where the heart and the color actually is, is all 2x2s, and they're all stacked up vertical on one another, and then, of course, the black around it, there are other sizes of brick to help it tie in, but you can still tell the middle of this part is nothing but 2x2s. Well, it does make that part a little more damageable. I'm pretty sure I could just kind of take my finger and it would just, because of the way it is, it would, um, these middle two by twos would probably pop out a lot easier than maybe there would, you would like. But it was still kind of a cool little build to think about and think about kind of taking it in those increments and the way it shows it on the pattern and then making that work with a Lego build. Um, I also think, though, you could take it and do it and not necessarily do the 2x2 two two pattern, but using the size, whatever size bricks you have creatively to make um, the sections that were supposed to be each color. And you could still do it and pretty much you could, in some cases, could alter it up and not do it all 2x2s. Two two. And that would have really gotten creative if I'd have um, thought about doing it that way. But... Um, Still, it was kind of neat and fun thing to play around with, fun idea to just to kind of toy with because I didn't have an extremely long time to work, and I thought, well, you know, that looks fairly simple, and I'm sure I could get something like that going within a fairly uh, quick amount of time. So this took me maybe an hour, you know, that sort of thing. It probably took more time gathering the pieces than it actually did the building part. <laughs> um, once I had the pieces I needed, the you know, I was able to pretty much figure it out without a lot of um, having to think and fuss with it. So, anyway, there you go. Um, I'll post this on my Instagram, too, if you want to see, you know, photos of it. They're a little bit higher resolution. You can check that out there. But there is my first build in a while. Hopefully this will be the first of many coming up that I can um, get some things like this happening on a more consistent basis. Um, I've left this up for a little bit, and I'm probably going to leave it up for a little bit more, but I'll eventually, you know, take it down. Um, it's not an extreme feat. It's just, just something to kill a couple hours with one day, and I thought, oh, I could build something, and there that pattern was, and I thought, hmm, let me see what I can do with that. So I hope you enjoyed. This is Blind Builder, a.k.a. Jamie A., and I'm out.